Good morning and welcome. So today is just a good old get ready with me and I'm not even going to explain it because I've explained it a hundred times before but knowing myself I am going to over explain because I always do. Some of these products I've tried before, some of them I have not. I'm calling this a first impression, false face first impressions, but it's not. As always, first we are starting with eyeshadow. We're doing kind of a crazy look. First, we are going in with this color called Golden Eyes. So, that one right there. And that is just going all over. And it's like a cream. Might be too gold. Uh, mm, I don't know. Hope this looks good. Alright, so this color is clearly like not meant to be used on its own. Well, now that I look at it more, like maybe I... I'm gonna make it work for today, but like I feel like normally, but also the more I wear it, the more I like it. I was gonna say this is only a color you probably put over things, but then it's a cream, so like that would be kind of hard. But now I kind of like it by itself. It is like kind of hatchy, so I don't like that. But then you just like, you have to take a long time to like smooth it around so it's not patchy. But I think I like it. So I'm really hoping this doesn't ruin things, but I'm going to be going very light with it. So I'm hoping things go well. So now we're going in with this color called Ink. And that's just going to be like my eyeliner. Uh, like my top eyeliner. So this is probably the best eyeliner job I've ever done. Ow, ow, ow. I just completely went in my eye. So this just like randomly fell out of my head and I thought it was cool because it's like a spring. My hair is not curly at all but here's this random like spring hair. I messed up yet again but I don't know how to fix it and I feel like the mascara is just gonna like cover it up anyway so I don't really care that much anymore. Hopefully it covers it up. So we're just doing the sumptuous. As we always do, I have two mascaras that I use until they're gone, so, um, you know, nothing new here. All right, so the mascara did improve things. They're not perfect, but I can live with it. So for lips, we are actually going like really neutral. This is just a chapstick um, by Lot of Love. And I just, today, I just wanted to go with a, like, my natural. So, for some reason, we don't have a lot that we're doing today. Um, I mean, I guess the eye look was, like, most of the video. Um, probably not. I don't know. Whatever. So, for the perfume today, you all know that I don't go with, like, general, I mean, I do. I have so many general, like, normal people perfumes that you just spray and go. But if you've been here a while, you also know that I a lot of times use like non-traditional perfumes. Like I use stuff as perfumes. For example, a lot of mornings I like to take a bath with a bath bomb and then the bath bomb like it relaxes me, but it also makes me smell good. So I use the bath bomb as like my perfume and then like why would I put perfume on when I just used a bath bomb? I already smell good because of that. You know what I'm saying? So, today is one of those non-standard perfume days. You'll see what I mean. So I'm going to insert a clip right here of when it was new because now it's all like used and gross. Um, but here I have from Bath & Body Works this soap bar. It smells amazing. I don't know what these are. Are these samples? Are these full soaps? I don't know. I think they were like sample type things, but like they were like a dollar. And so this is what I'm using for my perfume type thing. It smells really good and really kind of strongly, which is why I'm not just like, oh, it's just soap. I think it's like more of like a perfume soap. So basically what I do is I just run this under the water and, you know, use it like a soap, but also a perfume. So I will show you that. All right, that is all, and this is the completed look. I really like it. My hands smell amazing. Thank you so, so much for watching, for being here, for supporting. I hope you have a great day. Bye.